Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just want to share itong nakapost online, lalo na sa Facebook. Uh, posted siya sa filipinosincanada.com So, ang title is yung POEA Recruitment Agencies for Canada. Updated to June 2020. Just a disclaimer, I'm not related to filipinosincanada.com. I am not promoting any of the agencies na mababanggit po dito. I just want to share yung mga information na maaaring makonfirm ko na tama dito sa uh, nakapost na to base sa experience ko rito. I've been here in Canada since 2014 and base na rin sa uh, application ko sa Pilipinas. So, titignan ko lang information and titignan natin kung ano yung uh, makoconfirm natin na maaring tama or hindi para naman may guiding kayo ay matulungan ko kayo kahit pa paano again, ang information na ito ay galing sa filipinosincanada.com so you can visit their website natry ko na rin ma-visit so I know it's uh, legit naman kasi nakita ko yung mga article nila so mostly promoting Philippine cultures dito sa uh, Canada and yun, Philippines so uh, yun. So, you can try to visit them to confirm. Just a preview na rin so we can move on to uh, the topic na pinost nila. So, filipinosincanada.com is not affiliated with the government of Canada, the Philippine government, or any Philippine recruitment agencies or Canadian immigration consultants or lawyers. All content on filipinosincanada.com is for information and purposes only. filipinosincanada.com makes no representations to the accuracy completeness of any information on this site or any links found therein. So, I'm pretty sure yung information naman dito, kahit pa paano na-confirm din nila sa POEA or galing sa website ng Philippine Overseas Employment Administration or POEA nga. You can double check naman anytime dun sa POEA website para ma-confirm din yung information. So, you can double check for yourself. Lastly, Filipinosincanada.com do not be liable for any losses, injuries, or damage from the display or use of information. As I said, I will try to read the post. Then, I'll check out what I'm going to confirm based on my experience with the application of the application from the Philippine agencies and the new process of the application. Canada is one of the countries that are the top destination of Filipino workers in the world. Bakit? Siyempre, pag sinabi mong Canada, di ba, parang katumbas ng US, United Kingdom, which is totoo naman, isa sa mayamang bansa dito sa buong mundo. At the same time, ang kikitahin mo rito is dollars, na tinatawag na Canadian dollars. May program ang bansang Canada na tinatawag na Temporary Foreign Worker Program na inaalaw yung mga Canadian employers to hire foreign workers kasi maraming ang kakulangan, lalo na sa mga uh, low-skilled jobs dito sa Canada and then yung sa mga specific jobs ng mga skilled workers. So, dahil din sa program na yun, uh, nagiging madali yung pag-hire ng mga Canadian employers, kukuha ng mga foreign workers from other country, and mas napapadali yung proseso nila. Canada is a no-placement fee country. So, I remember nung makaalis ako 2014, um, tinanong ko pa kung may babayaran pa na any charges sa agency. Pero, <laughs> uh, Buti na lang, wala talaga kasi sobrang malaking tulong. So, di na ako kailangan mangutang pa ng pera para lang <laughs> ipambaya din sa placement fee. So, ang binayaran ko lang nun, gaya nga nang sabi ko sa previous vlogs, yung sa dental ko lang, uh, try ko lang na magpapasa ng ipin and then yung medical sa St. Luke's. So, total ng binayaran ko nun, mga around 18 to 19k lang. So, more of personal, ano lang yun, uh, medical stuff and then pa-authenticate ng mga documents. So, placement fee as in zero talaga. Pero may naririnig ako na yung mga nakasama ko before sa Alberta, galing sila ng Middle East, Taiwan, or Korea, na napunta rito, dumaan ng agency. Parang nag nagbayad sila ng, hindi ko alam kung placement fee yung tawag nila doon, pero uh, pag kinonvert mo sa Philippine pesos, nag mga 100 to 150,000. Pati may friend ako sa Singapore. Uh, yun. Hindi ko sure kung placement fee ba ang pinabayaran sa kanila or ano man. Sabi rito, if pinagbayad ka ng placement fee or any payment, tapos hindi ka na-issue ng receipt, pwede mong may report yung agency na yon kung nasaan ka man. Or dito sa Pilipinas, 
sa POEA. Tapos sila nang bala magpag-coordinate doon. Isa pa kung bakit maganda rito sa Canada. Kapag nag-hire ang Canadian employers ang uh, mga Filipino workers, required sila na bayaran yung mga fees associated dun sa pagpa-process ng uh, papers ng overseas Filipino workers. Including na nga yung placement fees and then kasama na yung airfare ticket. So, kagaya nung sa akin, yung pag-check ko nung uh, employment contract ko, or actually halos lahat dito kapag foreign worker ka, uh, naka-indicate dun sa LMIA or LMO before na ang ticket mo papunta ron. And then kapag matapos yung kontrata mo, pabalik dun sa bansang pinanggalingan mo, like sa Pilipinas, sa akin, kung natapos yung kontrata ko, uh, bayad ng employer yun. So, hindi mo kakarguhin yung yung airfare ticket kasi sobrang mahal ang ticket dito sa Canada kahit one way or two way lang What are the basic requirements for working in Canada? So, sabi rito in most cases to be able to work in Canada we must meet the minimum requirements of both the government of Canada and the Philippine government including a Canadian employer with a valid labor market impact assessment So, gaya nga na sabi ko sa previous jobs and need talaga dito sa Canada kapag nag-hire ng ang Canadian employer ng foreign worker uh, or temporary foreign worker need niya talaga mag-apply ng LMIA or Labor Market Impact Assessment dito sa government ng Canada. So ano ba yung LMIA? Proof yun na may kakulangan na stop yung employer or workforce. Tapos yun, pag na-approve yung LMIA, doon naka-indicate lahat ng is a detailed accommodation, yung bayad mo sa trabaho, ilang oras ka magtatrabaho, tapos yung off mo, then yung vacation leave. Doon lahat nakadetail yung buong employment contract mo. Temporary resident visa issued by the Immigration Refugee Citizenship Canada or IRCC. Ini-issue ang TRV or Temporary Resident Visa kapag uh, na-hire ka na ng employer and then approve na yung LMIA mo. Yun, tapos after nun, yun na yung kukuha na yung passport mo sa agency, tatatangan ka na ng working visa. So, yun. Doon yun sa kung saan bansa ka man. Like sa atin sa Pilipinas, may Canadian Embassy doon. Employment documents verified at and authenticated by the Philippine Overseas Labor Office Polo. Then lastly, an exit clearance issued by POEA or Philippine Overseas Employment Administration yan. So, I remember dito nga, nag, ano pa kami yung PIDOS, yung pre-departure seminar. So, suppose naka-indicate dito yung minimum wage rates by province and territory hourly dito sa Canada. So, naka-indicate dito, Alberta, $15 per hour Canadian dollars. British Columbia, $14.60. Manitoba, where I'm currently in, $11.65 per hour. New Brunswick, $11.70. Newfoundland and Labrador, $11.65. Northwest Territories, $13.46. Nova Scotia, $12.55. Nunavut, $13. Ontario, $14. Prince Edward Islands, $12.85. Quebec, $13.10. Saskatchewan, $11.32. Yukon, $13.71. Upon checking, tama itong mga information na to about sa minimum wage rates by province dito sa Canada. So, you can double check also Uh, nag-check ako dun sa Retail Council of Canada sa website and then exactly this is the current uh, rates for provinces and territories dito sa Canada. Alright, nandito na tayo sa pinakamagandang information. POEA License Recruitment Agencies for Canada. So, actually madami to. Hindi ko alam kung hindi kasi nag hindi kasi pinapakita kung gano'ng karami yung agency na nandito. Like To cite an example, First Dynamic Personal Information Resources Incorporated, uh, this is Quezon City, Philippines. May website sila rito ha. Anifel Management, General Services Corporation, Aram Enterprises, Inc., Ores Manpower Consultancy Corp., Cierto Agencia Professional, Inc. Uh, sorry kung mali yung pronunciation ko. <laughs> uh, Dalzen, Dalzen International Services, Inc., EDI, Staff Builders International Inc. Uh, itong EDI, nakikita ko na to before kasi kapag nag-job hunt ako, nasa Pilipinas pa ako. Mahilig ako mag, ano eh, uh, tawag dito, mag-ikot-ikot sa Makati ng mga agency tapos sa uh, uh, Manila before. So, 
I think nakita ko na to eh. Energy Manpower Services sa Quezon City, Phil HR Manpower Development Services, Finest Asia Resources Inc. for Filipino Arab Resources Inc., FBJ, Overseas Placement Inc., Golden Horizon Placement Agency Inc. So yun, actually madami. Um, I just want to name a few na familiar ako. So like itong Industrial Personnel and Management Services Inc. or IPAMS. So ito parati ko nakikita to sa talagang popular talaga. Uh, so sa Quezon City, New Manila. And then, ipa yung familiar ako. So itong IPAMS, tas meron din yung Staff House. Sir, uh, yung Staff House and then yung Merkan Recruit nandito rin. Ito yung so sa American Recruit and then sa Staff House ito kasi yung uh, may experience ako before di dyan ako dumaan so I can confirm yan dalawang yan talagang legit yan so and then magsaysay pa pala magsaysay Global Services Inc so yun then meron ito Oman Phil International Power Development Corporation so yun, may mga website sila then American Canada Employment Philippines Incorporated so yun Uh, hindi ko na lang isa-isahin guys kasi sobrang ang dami talaga sa so, ito yung huli pang huli pala yung Staff House International Resources Corporation formerly Staff House Resources but again we can always double check itong mga uh, agents, yung ibang agencies try to call them or pumunta dun mismo sa uh, website nila or pumunta mismo dun sa office nila para to confirm or to consult yung mga job openings na papuntang Canada. Then, i-check ko rin ko yung mga current jobs na may open dito sa Canada. Uh, Mag-check na lang ako dun sa mga familiar ako na agencies, but you can always double-check yung ibang, or yung lahat ng agencies dito, yung iba na may website, uh, punta nyo na lang din, and then, or visit nyo yung office nila dyan sa Pilipinas. So, yun. So, pakita ko sa inyo ha, kung ano yung mga current jobs dun sa familiar ako na agencies like itong check natin yung staff house ipams market nandito na ako ngayon sa staff house so ito yung sa first page ng job search nila mostly for kingdom of saudi arabia or ksa yung lumalabas rito pero barista, oriental dessert maker food packaging, restaurant worker, waiter uh, one, two yeah may isang Japan, electrical engineer. So, in Japan, may hirap talaga pasukin na uh, sa mga Filipino worker and sa mga entertainer and then technicians. For, so, more, dito sa staff house, more of Middle East. So, Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Oman. Try natin sa... Yun, meron ditong isa sa page 8, assistant restaurant manager. So, bound siya sa Canada. So, ang company, Gerbenko McDonald's. So, check natin yung job info. Yun, so sabi dito, position, assistant restaurant manager, company Gerbenko McDonald's. Country, Canada, qualifications, male, at least have a vocational certificate. So, yun. Kung may vocational certificate kayo, kahit 1 year, 2 years, HRS or HRM ang tawag. So, you can definitely apply. With at least 2 years of related experience. So, yun. Try natin yung susunod. Ayun o, oh, meron ulit. So, next page. Food service supervisor for position. Company, Spring Valley Farms Limited, DBA McDonald's Restaurant, country bound to Canada. Job info. Position, Food Service Supervisor, Company, Spring Valley Farms Limited, DBA McDonald's Restaurants in Canada. Yun. So, sa staff house, kung makita nyo yung, yung uh, job, the Bound to Canada, i-click nyo lang yung apply. Tapos yun, may application information form sila. Complete nyo lang. Uh, upload resume. Upload webcam. Then, submit. So, yun. So, the rest mostly for, ano eh, Uh, Middle East. Siguro meron pa dyan. Kaya lang nasa page 8 na yun ako. So, parating nag aper puro Middle East and then pa ila-ilang Asian country. Punta naman tayo sa IPAMS. So, sa IPAMS, may isang nag-appear upon checking this uh, search jobs. So, sinerge ko lang Canada and then lumabas dito. 
industrial cleaner. So, I'm not sure if nagpo-fall tong industrial cleaner sa factory worker. So, ang employer daw is a large food manufacturing company in Canada. Expiry date. Oh, June 16. Ano na ba date niya? 13? 14? Country Canada. So, so industrial cleaner in description. A large food match for a large food manufacturing company in Canada. Category skilled work other location Canada. Post duration March 18, 2020 to June 16, 2020. Gender male or female qualifications must be at least high school graduate with minimum two years experience in food processing industry. Good verbal and written communication skills for manpower pulling. Beware of illegal recruits and human traffickers. So yun, pagka pindot nyo ng description, register to apply. Nadadalin ulit kayo sa application form, fill up nyo lang lahat, upload ng resume, then register. Basically the same as the, yung staff house uh, website. So yun, follow nyo lang. Pangatlo ito, Mercan Recruit Canada. Upon checking dito sa Mercan, so punta ako sa website nila, mercanrecruit.com. Ayun. So hindi pala dun sa mercanrecruit.com, dapat Mercan Canada Philippines. So pag search nyo sa Google, or any search engine uh, click nyo lang yung pag nandun na kayo sa mercanphilippines.com job listing okay so andito puro oh, Middle East din Kingdom Saudi Arabia KSA KSA mm, yun may isang Canada industrial sewing machine operator so check na natin to so posted 11 months ago so ganun Ganun na katagal yung huling listing nila sa Canada opening. Yun, pagka-click ko nitong industrial sewing machine operator, ang sabi, this listing has expired. So, we'll see. Check natin dun sa isa. Load more listings. Okay, so, may UAE, Kingdom Saudi Arabia again. So, isa lang yung nag-appear which was posted uh, 11 months ago. Wala na oh. Kasi kalimitan dito puro KSA, UAE, puro medical staff. Pero two years, was 2 years ago. So, uh, not sure. I think hindi lang updated to. So, madalas kasi kapag pumunta kayo doon, doon nila ibibigay yung complete list ng mga uh, job openings dito sa Canada. Mostly FNBN. And then, yun nga, medical staff din sa Canada. I hope kahit pa paano may natutunan kayo dito sa vlog na to. And na-share ko sa inyo kahit pa paano may na-confirm ako dito sa information na to. I'm sure na-confirm naman to ng Filipinos in Canada or website ng filipinosincanada.com sa POEA. Yung mga information na to, mga updated POEA license recruitment agencies dito sa Canada. Uh, June 2020. Hanggang sa muli, please continue to like and share.